All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Nick Lex here, and today we are going to be playing uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes. Um, third installment of the Dark Pictures Anthology. Um, fourth game from Until Dawn Makers, basically. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into it and not waste any time. Except for this. <laughs> For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. I'm also going to turn this up a little bit because it's a little bit low. Every choice has a consequence. We live at a 60. Some decisions save lives. Don't expect them to do that. Others lead to death. Wow. Choose wisely. Pretty beautiful game so far. That's to say. Okay. Very intense there. <laughs> oh! 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 There's more! Akkad, 2231 BC. Okay. It's pretty fucking dark. I'm gonna be honest. I can't really see shit. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his girls from our land. Is that the same guy who played in a... Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutier. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. Beautiful. The moon God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know his girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Damn! No hesitation. That's a loyal motherfucker. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Hmm. Okay. Kill her. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, um, compliant by your command. Should we keep her alive? Say nothing. I'm gonna just say nothing. Would you prefer I used your blood instead? You have your orders. Kill her. EC.
Oh, okay. I was like, what? Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, what a throw. Man, it should have been in the Olympics. That's fucking huge. Where did he fuck? Where did he pull that out of? Okay, I did not think he had that. Oh, okay, fuck. Damn. Okay, we're starting off very intense here. That's actually pretty cool. It's actually really fucking cool, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that was really dope. I have a feeling this war is gonna get super duper bloody. Is apparently right. <laughs> Looks pretty bloody. Give me strength. I don't think it was God's, but I think you're good to go, sir. gonna kill him. Oh, my God. 
What have you, Arcadian, done to unleash such force? We've been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. We were wrong. My king sacked the temple at Nippur. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. He demanded blood sacrifice. His demand was answered. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? We have no choice. It's kind of intense, man. Oh, don't you tell me we're about to start like this. I swear, if we're about to play, oh boy. Help me with this. Just be repeatedly until the timer runs out. Okay. It's a bit different. But overall, I think the same. Follow me. There is a way out through the storm. Yes, for the builders when they're done. Come. Fucking shit. Press time and time with a heartbeat, it may change the why to keep calm. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. I feel like if I mess up, I just fucking die right away. <sighs> it's a fucking rat. Just a rat. And he just fucking dies right away. I'm calling it. All this death for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Oh, here we go. Press and hold RT to pick up objects. Uh, use the right stick to examine. Some interactions reveal secrets. Secrets you find can be viewed in the collections and characters menu. Ah, fuck! I'm a bit disappointed in myself for that one. Finally! Okay. Somehow I knew this was going to be the part of it. Ooh. Shiny. He's already look around. There may be hidden information. We are cursed. Well, I would really hope so, considering I can't read any of this. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. Like, am I really supposed to see something here? No? Maybe? Possibly? Okay. I don't see anything, so I'm gonna continue. Damn, mommy, you gotta be up on my dick like that? I mean, shit, give us... I mean, I was about to kill you earlier, but, like, we ain't even... We ain't even been on the first day yet. There's a secret. Okay, looked like a mummy of some kind jumping out of a fucking hole. That's cool. Okay, wait. Where do we go then? I thought we were going... There's a lot of blood in here. Okay, what? We go through this hole or what? Oh, we go to that door. Okay, got you. 
I like that shiny. That's awesome. Here. Help me with this. Well, they're going to have a butt mash. <clears throat> safe down here. You first. Oof. I can't remember what is really this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Help each other. Worry about your own hide. Let's be respectful. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. Karum is now my, uh, well, our, I mean, our relationship went up. It doesn't mean anything. There is always hope. Okay. I mean, there's no reason not to right now. I mean, it looks like both of our armies are dead. We worry about fighting each other later. We're not alone down here. Probably not. I mean, especially when we got weird shit like that walking around, or not walking around. I'm not. I hope not walking around. <laughs> Over here. I didn't see. Any <coughs> I didn't see anything that was shining. So. I'm just gonna jump out and be like, Help! Ow! Huh? Oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit! No, please, please! Oh, thank God. Well, that is definitely not good. Coming. I know. I can't yet. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No. If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Fight or betray. <laughs> no, we're fighting. We're fighting. We can get out of this together. Maybe not, but. I'm not going to betray the guy. Okay. Oh! 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 Okay. Oh! Yeah! Oh! This man out here slaying him. Oh, he beat it? He fucking beat it. No, my friend. Oh. You might wanna, you might wanna get, get your boy. Very updated. Okay. Damn, I was trying to see it. Is that other like rockin' ass fucking beginning of the song? Hopefully I won't be... It is. Why the fuck did they do that like that, bro? Oh my god, whatever. <laughs> this dude thinking of the shit, too. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we'll probably get a glimpse at the next one when he picks the book out, so gotta keep an eye on it. See, I want shit like that. That'd be dope. But also, why were you looking at your fucking compass? You're in a house, bro. See, I want ones like these. This looks incredible. You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Would you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Ooh, spooky. Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It Couldn't even tell if he's looking at me or not. Oh, thank you. Keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. Yes, sir, you are correct in that you assumption. Are aware. I am the curator, the custodian yes. of tech. Yes. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. I don't make mistakes. This is my repository. Not me. It's got birds in here? Or are you the bird? Ah, they didn't show it that time. Fuck. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's like a V compass? Huh. I noticed there's a fucking shadow out there. I noticed that earlier. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Thank you. Or extremely foolish. Uh, probably a bit both, you know. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Oh, there's always... Yeah, that's always true. Let I'm already getting chills. A few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. Mm -hmm. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Fail or failed. Pretty sure that's the same thing, sir. But alright. Iraq. 2003. Okay. Jason Kolchek, First Lieutenant, United States Marine Corps, Force Recon, confident and tolerant. Good trip. Eric King, Lieutenant Colonel of the United States Air Force, rational and insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologetic. Apologies for arriving early. Impatient. Is my meeting room prepped? Is my meeting room prepped? My meeting room prepped. I'm not going to apologize Thanks for being for early. for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. The the there? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Annoyed. Careful with that case. This is my assistant. 
Um, yeah, careful with that case. Careful, Clarice. That's valuable research. Yes, sirree. Dr. Stokes, at your service. First Lieutenant Jason Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? Yo, is this much of a dick? Huh? So many dick levels. This is like a two. Wait till he turns it up to 11. What's up, Marine? Can't you? <laughs> what is happening right now? Rachel King, CIA field officer, commanding an abrasive. Nick K, Sergeant, United States Marine Corps, First Recon, Defensive and Romantic. We our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. I, I thought at first they were chewing gum. Now I could tell that that was not the case. Colonel King. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. A fucking year? You should put this on ice. I'll find a way to tell him. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Say nothing. I ain't saying shit. Say no more. I get it. Yikes. Shit. Okay, that was... Okay, I was like, what? Mm. Ah. Already deep feelings going on now. I don't like Rachel too much. Already from the get go. I don't like a lot of people here already. Shit. Disorder. Just getting the base set up. Hmm. my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. Down, down and candy bar and Why do I feel like them two are banging him and his assistant or whatever the fuck nice she is? Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> got the CIA, oh. We got the Army, the Marine, okay. the DIA, the Air Force. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm a badass. <laughs> yeah, look at me. <laughs> got my sunglasses on, my douche pants. Fuck yeah. I'm a cool guy. I'm the fucking shit, bro. Oh yeah. You busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. You gonna spot me, little lady? Can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prep. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Philly and ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Side note, he's also fucking your wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, that was too much. <laughs> you want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. I'm your commander. Sorry, I just want to make this guy as douchey as possible. 
And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> shit me, right? Crap, he's not shit me. Give the colonel full sight access. All right, all right, all right. I, I might have to. you. I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing too much now. I feel like a piece of shit. Wait, what? That's my wife. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Nice work, hot shot. Jesus Christ. This place is in fucking shambles. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. <laughs> in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Yeah, sure, yeah, okay. I don't know if I should tone it down or if I should stick with the asshole mantra. You shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the tech stuff to you. And I'll leave the Examine it. Let's check it. Uh, subject, survey group objectives. The Directorate of Central Intelligence. Directorate of Central Intelligence. Okay. Oh, okay. The objectives of the survey group are as stated. One, organize direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces, US, UK, and Australia. Um, apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself and not finish reading that then. Like, what was that about? She better not. She better not. Pull no. Hey, babe, bullshit. She better. Think. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Be professional. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Mm. I'm going to say nothing. I'm going to not be as much of a dick. from Sox Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm going to need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? There is quite a bit of bugs to this, but it's all right. Eric, briefing room, 1,500 hours. What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm, men. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, 
and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. Hell yeah! There's all the territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. <laughs> If I didn't pull out so fast, could have been your puppy. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Mm. Does bring a good point. Yeah, we got to keep it small. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. <laughs> this feel right to you? Merwin has a point. Yeah. Spin up too many helos will increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Therese, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rug down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. <laughs> I'm real bad feeling. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? Anything you can do? <laughs> Why your face look like that? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. This is our big break. I missed you. Uh, say nothing. Ooh. Um, like, I mean, I don't really know how he feels. I, I would say he, he's probably going to say I missed you. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please. Did she say Derek or Eric? Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind. When I didn't want you by my side. I feel like I have this to make her feel like shit. shit. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it? Things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Wait. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. You got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release one. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, wait for the download. Speak to the team. Inspect the briefing room.
I don't know how I feel about Eric just yet. Okay, we're near Jordan, Syria, and Saudi Arabia. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of war going on here just in general. Not really necessarily us, but... Okay, yeah, finally I can fucking read this again. Um, our allies in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence service are sound. We look forward to your report. Signature Simon Fuller, SG Operations Head, Director of Human Intelligence, DIA, Confidential and Personal. Well, apparently it's not too confidential or personal because it's in here on a fucking desk. And I'm pretty sure that is not allowed, but I'll shut the fuck up. Fuck, we eating this or what? Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Okay, yeah, just for cover, I guess. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. Okay. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. I don't... I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, no, this was the one I was reading. Okay, fuck it. I don't care anymore. I don't even care to read it anymore. Okay, what the fuck is this? Confidential Opera Iraq Survey Group SCPB Mailman MIX. Okay, so they didn't hear back from some dudes not too long ago, which is definitely not good, but you know. American overseas, mission accomplished, President Bush declares end of hostilities in Iraq. Manny Sherman executed, killer uncooperative during final hours. I don't, maybe I'm not old enough for that, but I don't know if that's an actual thing or what. I'm going to assume that's a lot more intricate than what we've got going on there. Saddam Hussein out. Oh. Think we'll bag chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind the desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need it. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for me? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Okay, I don't feel too too different about him, so. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Now you want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So you're my technician? You afraid of heights? I don't really like his attitude towards me, but I'm gonna say nothing. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. I think you're just scared of cat. Just fucking Christ. Downloads complete. 
Let's get to the helos. Bro, she looks so fucking stupid. What? What? You wanna ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a hard ass and he wants us to know it. But I ain't bothered by that. I like it actually. The guy's a corn cob off his ass. We're heading, believe me. We're gonna need someone tough in control. You just don't like him because you're fucking his wife. I don't know why I have the country accent or this, like, rough bit. Salim, Bedra, Mandala, 1753 hours. Salim Othman, Lieutenant Iraqi Ground Forces, stubborn and courageous. Throwing pumpkins out there? Zane, and a gate. Zane? He's gonna leave you a fucking gun like that? Search Zane's room. Damn, it is. Whoa. Highgate University Shield, Mr. Zane Othman, 112 Bedra Mandali Kut, Iraq. Uh, March 3rd, 2003, application number JO30342. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology BA uh, in academic year 2003 2004, which commences on September 2nd, 2003. Okay, so this is like a little bit before. Wait, no, I'm tripping. Never mind. Sorry. I'm fucking stupid. Um, this offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course of study offered, completion of your college studies to the projected AAB standard of grades, obtaining a student's visa from the UK home office. We understand that current world events may create complications for your visa application and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist and support your visa application in every way. For over 120 years, Highgate University has helped talented young individuals from all walks of life achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking on your own journey of success. Sincerely, Andrew McAllister, Director of Admissions. You've achieved something that nobody in this family has before. I'm so proud of you, Zane. Now, go bag that grade. Love always. Dad. Oh. So I'm guessing Zane's is his son. Happy birthday, Zane. My boy is becoming a man. Love Come always, Dad. Me. So I'm guessing the mom is not in the picture of somehow, some way, some kind. But how or why, I don't know exactly. Okay, obviously can't go through there. Damn, I wish the camera wasn't so up his ass. Like, holy shit. Well, I'm guessing this is our room. Yeah, let's do this first. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay, yeah, let's just go in. God, I hate the fucking camera angles. These camera angles are rough. Yeah. Mesopotamian mythology. Dr. Shaki 
I'm not. I really uh, hope I didn't butcher that name completely. This is like version of B. He's uh, okay. Um, the heavens were no place for mortals. The Sumerians believed that the sky was formed in the configuration of domes which hewn from different precious stone. The outermost dome embodied An, the god of the sky. The middle dome was the home of the gods to the heaven, and the lowermost dome was abode of the stars. The numbers of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout Mesopotamian myth. Seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and seven gates of the underworld. To the Sumerians, the stars and planets had their own deities. Utu was the sun. Nana, later altered as Suin or Sin, was the moon. Nurgle was ascribed, uh, was ascribed to Mars, Nabu to Mercury, Marduk to Jupiter, Inanna to Venus, and Ninurta to Saturn. The heavens were truly the abode of the divine, and the earth below was given to the humans. No soul could travel upwards in this worldview. Instead, they were confined to their earthly domain, even in death. It is no wonder that the Sumerians were among the world's first astronomers. They charted the position of stars, identified planets, and plotted the movement of constellations. Although surviving records from a period are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of Mesopotamian astronomy were passed on to the Western world and formed the basis of the classical Grecian sky maps. Interesting. Okay, ancient Mesopotamian mythology. Wait, what the fuck was that? Inspect. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that made me look. So it looks like he's looking for like, uh, like, what do you call it? Um, mythological creatures in different places. Okay, so. We checked his room. There's nothing here. Okay, so what the fuck do we do now? Do we go outside now? No? Wait. Oh, let me show you. Uh, how the fuck do I get over there? How the fuck do I get over there? Oh, no, that's not okay. It's just a screen. Am I, am I missing something? I don't know, these camera angles are just, just pure ass cheeks. Oh, inspect. What am I inspecting? Oh, okay. I did miss something, apparently. Oh, busy and tanny. Ah, but... Hello, uh, I'm Salim. Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Yeah. I forgot. He was Zain with with. He was Zain with Abu. Sorry. Yes, sorry. They're not together. They're not together. I found some stolen goods. I have a gift for him. Yeah, let's just say we have a gift for him. Because I don't know what that meant for stolen. Yeah, 
شايفينهم مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن دايرتهم توصل عندنا He doesn't seem to want to fight, so I'm going to say I must find my son. خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة sure you are in Zagros Mountains 1815 hours Oh, he's got a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Get face on, boys. We're coming in fast. Hey, Marwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. <laughs> hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? Oh yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. <laughs> Focus on the mission. Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. <laughs> I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Yeah, oh, wow. What the fuck y'all laughing at? <laughs> Okay, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? This motherfucker is not there. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure he's all right. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. I got your back. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? <laughs> it's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're going to succeed. Yes, sir. Hoorah! Hoorah! I just realized I'm wearing a navy shirt, so who y'all on that one? Captain, what's the net? Ha ha ha! Yeah, it's not going to be a Jason, target OZ, 1846 hours.
If you're gonna stop looking at your fucking ring. American go. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Uh yeah, fan out and hold fire. Fan we don't need to do it just fire. yet. We're gonna sigh out this shit. As long as we can move in on multiple fucking targets, we'll be good. So, clear room, clear. All bound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. This rate's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Yeah. Lieutenant Kolchak, a set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Form secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Very well done. Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? There's a shepherds. Colonel, I don't think these men are hostile. I'm starting to think they're just shepherds. Are you sure? Could it be a cover? You may be right. If these are civilians, Lieutenant Kolchak made the right call to not go in guns blazing. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to do that just yet. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the virgin. Do not finish that sentence. <laughs> are you ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know. I'll be that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, woman's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just going to pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مخزن السلاح؟ Any orders, ma'am? Any orders, ma'am? Stand by. I've got this. All right. هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المخزن؟ Hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. Ida. Hatarafu or you? No, I'm not going to say anything. I don't really know what to say. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. It sounds like Predator Hunting Grounds fucking music. Which is fitting for this, exactly. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, 
yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying it. It's it's very interesting. Um, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, the bell, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.